Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Insight on Things That You Should Know. I'm John Gray. Glad to be with you today. Uh, this is the show that's taking place of the grassroots show that Tom Corrington did for us for about 20 years. And uh, it is political season. So as usual, we will have interviews with all of the candidates. Uh, first, we're doing the mayoral candidates. And what I want to do is let you know that uh, the auction, the uh, election is August the 6th. Early voting starts July the 17th through August 1st. In Tullahoma, it's at CD Stamps. In Manchester, it is at the Administrative Plaza. In Manchester, it is from 8 o'clock in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon. Tullahoma from 9 o'clock in the morning till 4.30 at, in the afternoon. And uh, these elections, the primaries are for state and federal candidates, and the general election are for city and county candidates. Now, if you go on the Election Commission's website and push on election brochure, you will find everything you need to know there because a lot of you would like to either mail in or vote uh, as a write-in candidate and that gives you all the information there on how you can do that if you're afraid to go to the polls or uh, what you need to do to be able to mail in your, like an absentee to mail that in. So that's where you go to the commission there. And what I want to do right now is introduce a, a friend of mine, a classmate of mine from Tullahoma High School back in the 60s who is running for mayor of Tullahoma, mayoral candidate Carl Smithson. Carl, good day, sir. Good to see you, John. I'm glad to see you. You know, it's been a while since we've seen each other, and uh, Carl walked walked in and, and called my name, and I recognized the voice immediately. <laughs> I knew that's who that was. Carl, um, running for mayor? Yes, sir. All right. Um, what I'd like for you to do is talk a little bit to, to our audience about Carl and uh, a little bit about you. And uh, and then after that, we'll take a short commercial break, and then we'll come back and talk a little more. So uh, right there is your camera right there where you can look at the world and tell them a little bit <laughs> about Carl Smithson. Okay, I was, uh, I was born in Nashville in August of 1948, and we stayed there to about when I was in the third grade, and then my father, who had a degree in engineering from Vanderbilt, moved to, uh, to work at AADC here in Tullahoma. And since then, I've been... And I, then I graduated from Tullahoma High School in 1966. And then I went to graduate from college at MTSU in Murfreesboro, where I had a, a double major in history and political science. I always wanted to be a lawyer, but it didn't, uh, that didn't work out, so I've become an advocate over the years, an advocate for the homeless, advocate for the mentally ill. I've been both homeless and mentally ill. I guess I'm still mentally ill, but I take my medicine now. <laughs> <laughs> And I've always been interested in politics. Uh, I almost ran for mayor back in 1983. In fact, the, I went to the Tullahoma News office and told them I was thinking about running for mayor, and they put it on the front page. It's missing plans my oil, right? So I'm trying to make the Tullahoma News honest now. It's just about 40 years later. So. <laughs> All right, Carl. Well, I tell you what, we're glad to have you on the show today. And what we'll do is take a quick commercial break, and we'll get back and we'll do a little talking about uh, some of the things going on in Tullahoma and how you'd like to see some things change. Okay? Thank you. All right. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Ray Lewis. This is a critical time in Tullahoma. On August the 6th, Voters will have an opportunity to elect a new mayor, one who can provide proven, experienced leadership, one who knows how to get things done and keep Tullahoma moving. I recognize the value of Tullahoma's excellent school system. Our system is recognized as one of the best in the state, and I'll ensure that our schools continue at that level. I will not vote to raise property taxes in order to have a balanced budget until all other options have been exhausted. I'll work closely with our city staff to ensure that my physically conservative values are incorporated. I've served on all city boards involved in economic development. And I see that as a way that we can broaden our tax base and avoid a property tax rate increase. Some developers have had issues with our planning and codes department. I'll commit to these improvements. There'll be consistency in the instructions from planning and codes without changes from day to day. 
and there will be predictable timelines for providing delivery dates for plan reviews, permits, and inspections, timelines that will be met reliably. Now, while we can't do much about the traffic on 41A and 55, we can improve our local streets and sidewalks, and this I commit to do. So I ask for your vote for proven, experienced leadership. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. All right, folks, we're back, and today we have Carl Smithson on uh, Insight with us. He's a mayoral candidate for the, the mayor of Tullahoma. And I'm going to ask you the same question, Carl, that I've asked everybody else, and, and this should be pretty easy for you. Define Tullahoma for me. What, what is, in your mind, the essence of Tullahoma? Well, for me, it's uh, home. <laughs> It's it's home and it's it's a place that's friendly and and uh, of course we we were raised here, right? Right. What do you see? What do you see uh, the future of Tullahoma looking like? Uh, well, I'm not much of a prophet, so I can't look in the future that well. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to see? What would you like to see changed? Are there some issues going on in Tullahoma that that uh, you think could be handled better? Well, if, I, if, I was, if I'm elected mayor, I'm going to uh, open up an office of advocate. Uh, the advocate would be uh, it's the person that listens to people that usually are overlooked and then be, be their voice. I was uh, uh, very happy to see that Alderman Blackwell is starting a diversity council. Right. Uh, in which she's, she's hoping to get the minorities to have a more say what's coming on in the Tullahoma. So I certainly intend to go to her first meeting uh, and advocate for minorities, for the homeless, for the mentally ill, for the uh, mentally challenged. Uh, and if I'm elected mayor, I won't stay in my office much. I'll be out going to people and listening to them. I think I'm a very good listener. Yes. And then when I listen, then I'll be an advocate for them. Do you... Uh you have, you said earlier that you've spent time uh, in the homeless community, right? And and where was that, and and what was that like? Uh, well, it was back in 1990. I traveled to Nashville and entered the Nashville Rescue Mission. I stayed there for about six or seven months until I got housing. Uh, it was it was interesting, and then some of it was kind of as I said on the. The movie tonight we're going that uh, Colin Sharan's uh, talking about is a, a pleasure sometimes, <laughs> and so of course you know I'm a, I'm a follower of Jesus, and in the Bible it says you should rejoice always, pray constantly, and give thanks in all circumstances. Right. And so I, I was thankful for the mission. It, they, they fed me well. They gave me a place to stay where nobody else would, and I got to see people, see, talk with people that I hadn't talked to before. So it was it was basically a good experience for me. <laughs> right. Do you do you find uh Carl, do you find homeless people uh what are some of the what are some of the situations that cause people, you know, to cause people to end up in a homeless situation. You know, a lot of times people look and say, oh, they're homeless, they're on drugs, they're, you know, there's all kinds of reasons why people end up in those situations. That's right. And, and what are some of those and, and how, how can we as a, uh, as a society, as a city, like Tullahoma, how do we help? deal with these people's uh, their the issues that they have what are some of the issues that cause homelessness well you know it's interesting that uh, at the mission I'd say that the population by race was about 50 percent black 50 percent white most of the black uh, residents were from Nashville 
Most of the white residents were from rural men in Tennessee, like Tillahoma. So in other words, back then when I went to, uh, to I, there was no place for me to go in Tillahoma. I had to go to Nashville. Right. So I think, uh, and of course, I think it was in 1999 that Shepherd's House started. Yes. And it's, they certainly does a good job, but it's still, they only have about, because of fire marshals, about 12 residents at a time. Right. And uh, they cover multi-counties. And so uh, the director, who's uh, uh, Tina uh, Holman, yes. uh, she uh, does a good job. She has to screen them out, though, because you've got many women living together in a house. It's a nice house. Uh, so I think, what, but she's wanting to say, for instance, to build a new uh, uh, facility for the women, segregate them. And so a, that, that would be a room for uh, growth would be for the Shepherd's House to become. Right. Uh, but as far as how people, why people come homeless, there's, there's, each person is unique. And that, that, that's the key as far as I'm concerned to homeless. You don't see them as homeless people. Nobody likes to be, be seen as a homeless person, but see them as a person. Uh, and so, uh, people, so there are a lot of people that do get there because they've been on drugs. Yeah, there are a lot of them in alcohol. Uh, and then, then about a third of them on the street are mentally ill. Back in the 1960s under John Kennedy, they started the Mental Health Center movement. Right. And we got the... Centerstone here now in Tullahoma. Right. Uh, but a third, but they emptied out the institutions so that uh, about a third of the people on the streets are mentally ill. And this kind of gets into the, you know, the reforming of the police. The police have almost had the largest, the largest mental hospital now is the LA County Jail. Uh, and there are a lot of homeless people that uh, are, they're, they are mentally ill, they criminalize them so they can put them in jail so they can get some help. <laughs> But, they, but the police shouldn't be out there helping people. If they want to use some of the police money elsewhere, they could hire more caseworkers and, and uh, social workers and psychologists. Right, right. Do you, uh, I noticed, in, and I was listening to our school board meeting, and, and I've always, I've been an advocate recently of having psychologists in the schools. And I noticed that they have hired a school psychologist. That's real good. And and uh, I think that someone, instead of uh, people with a gun walking down the hall, you need somebody who has the training to see the 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 stuff in a person that will make that bad act happen down the road, and maybe stop it before you need a gun to stop it. So exactly. psych psychologists, that's a, that's a good thing to, to do that. So um, age group, what, what's the age group involved in a homeless community? Uh, most of them are young, say probably from uh, uh, 20 to 50. And uh, Father Strobel, who ran the room at the end, which is an excellent program also, says that uh, the lifespan for a homeless person on the street is about 20 years less than what we would live by. So in other words, by the, by the 50s, they're aged and about ready to and about, let them die about that right, time. Right, right. It's, uh, it's hard. It's a hard life. That's right. can be. Uh, but uh, once again, the room at the end, I, I wouldn't mind seeing that come to Tullahoma, is that uh, the room at the end started out... Uh, it's just four churches, but now it has uh, over 200 churches in Nashville. They take in about from 10 to 12 homeless people a night during the winter months from November to uh, the end of March. Right. And the churches, you know, really do a good job. So that's why I'm saying that, that was the fun part, going to all the different churches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I tell you what we're going to do, Carl, right now. We'll take a quick break. Okay. And, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more. Okay. Okay? Great. We'll be right back after these messages. Not on my shift, quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paint Works of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paint Works of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. 
It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. It's a Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and eat new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Get your news first, fast, and free with your News Leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with News Leader on Channel 6, your local information network. All right, folks, we're back, and I'm with Carl Smithson today. He's a mayoral candidate for the mayor of Tullahoma, and uh, we're just visiting about some of the things that that need to be done, not just in Tullahoma, but in society as a whole. And that is that is looking at our our communities of people who need that 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 have sort of been pushed to the outside by society, mm -hmm. but need to be cared for by society. And that's our homeless community and our mentally ill community. And Carl was talking before the break about the fact that it was, when was it, Carl, you said that uh, back in the time when a lot of the institutions were shut down and everybody was just put out on yeah, the street? Yeah, in the 1960s. In the 60s, right, yeah. Right, that's when it started. So the moccasin bins and the different places where a lot of the, the mentally, uh, mentally challenged people, and uh, handicapped people and, and uh, stuff like that, uh, were cared for. And the government just said, well, you know, we're not going to pay for this anymore, right? And said, we're closing this place down, turn it into something else. Y'all do the best you can. And they ended up on street corners right. in cities, a lot of them in the cities and uh, became, a, became a problem to, to care for those folks. That's right. And you, you were part of that community for a while and found a way to, uh, it, it, it amazes me about Carl. Carl's always been a very bright gentleman uh, when we were in school together and a very resourceful individual and someone with a, uh, a very good outlook you know, every time I, I prompt Carl about something that to most people would seem less than positive, you found a way to turn it into a positive situation. And that's how you have to, to, to be, to exist uh, as a homeless person, isn't it? Pretty that's right. Much. That's right. That's right. So you, 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 look, you look at your friends. A lot, and the thing about it is in a small town, uh, if you're a person who, who's born and raised in a small town, you have friends that you can count on until your credit, until your credit full of friends runs out. But when you're in a city, uh, it's not that easy, is it? Uh, well, that's why everybody goes to, uh, uh, I consider Nashville a big city, uh, isn't that... Uh, you going to be sometimes you you're you're ashamed of what's happened to you, so you be in the big city and you're anonymous. Nobody knows you. Right, that's true. <laughs> uh, but as far as uh, Tullahoma is concerned, what I'd like to see happen, and and being mayor is a bully pulpit. I think many times uh, uh, getting, having having the opportunity to talk about in public things is more important than maybe the day to day activities of a mayor. Uh, so, so in other words, uh, well, as Richard Newstadt wrote a book on the presidency, came to presidential power, and said the most the number one power was the power to persuade. And so, as a mayor, I would do that. Like for instance, on the homeless, well, I think the next step in homeless would be, and it's biblical once again, is that uh, you know in the uh, uh, in the old in the New Old Testament, New Testament, particularly well in both of them, they had uh, the really early Christians. They didn't have a church until about three centuries. Right. They were all home churches. And in the homes, they'd have a, a, specifically a place called the strangers' room where you take in strangers. So what I propose, say, for Tullahoma and working, 
because you won't, 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 as far as I'm concerned, you won't want the private people and the non-private people to do most of it. The government's there maybe to bring people together and to stimulate right, them. Right, right. Uh, but but uh, we can't, you know, you can't spin your way out of the problem. I think the, 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 the way to, is friendship. Uh, and so, uh, but what, for instance, Mrs. Bettina is the, the director of the uh, Shepherd's House. She can screen people and live with them and she can find out which ones are, are, are good people. Just hit hard luck. Right. And, and Tallahassee is kind of an aging community. Right. And uh, a lot of them are, say, say uh, widows. Of course, usually widows and women live longer than men, so you get a lot of widows that have, say, a, a couple of empty rooms. So I propose, say, that uh, why can't they, after they've been screened, move in, move in, move in with those people and be the... Uh, uh, and so the homeless would be farmed out to various people, and then the churches would, could, could adopt maybe one, and, and then, then you've got enough people behind you that that, uh, that would solve the homeless problem, I think. Right, right. Well, you know, that, that makes sense. It, it's, uh, we, we uh, seemingly, Carl, because of this corona virus mm-hmm. and all of the things, that are going on and social distancing and and the fact that that we've been alone together mm-hmm. uh spending time quarant- almost quarantined everything seems a bit softer right now than it has been for years people seem a little bit more gentle People seem to be looking more at taking care of each other and helping each other uh, than they have in I don't know how long because the frantic chaos of our day to, that our day to day lives had turned into has been completely changed due to this. You know, the rat race has changed into not any more rat races. No, no, <laughs> and uh, it's been very leveling in that the people who uh, no matter what your name is, how much property you own, how much money you have, you have to wait outside the restaurant for your food just like everybody else. And there, things have sort of leveled because of what's going on. And and hopefully when this is over, we'll continue to be kind to one another and and reach out to one another and help one another, which is which is what needs to happen I'm sure that happens in the homeless community. Homeless people care for one another, don't they, in the homeless community? That's right. Mm-hmm. And and bond, sort of bond as part of the homeless community, and it's kind of maybe one has, all has, but I don't know. But it seems to be maybe a kinder action between each other than society allows on a day-to-day basis. And we need to integrate that more, you know. Get, in life, in real life. Right. To get people back into the community again. And the greatest of all is love. That's right. The greatest <laughs> First of Corinthians all. 13. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and talking about the Bible, uh, I think we're going through a spiritual crisis for the last couple of decades. And uh, Lee Atwater, he was a campaign manager for George Bush the Elder. Right. He died of cancer. And so he was... Uh, he repented of all his sins <laughs> uh, before he died, and he said that the, at the heart of American society is a spiritual vacuum, and he said that the body politic had a tumor on its soul. So uh, uh, I'm a Bible believer, and uh, uh, I remember reading a cover story in Newsweek magazine many years ago. It said that the cover story was how the Bible made America. They, was, they said the historians were finding out the Bible was more important uh, as a founding document, the Constitution itself, for well, the Constitution, we have civics classes. For well, not a history class, making it legal of how the Bible made America. Everybody sneak the Bible back into the schools. Because now, you know, I mean, students, if you, they bring a Bible to school, they're almost looked down upon. You know, what's, what's, what's wrong with them? It's, it's illegal to have a Bible there. They think something's bad, but, but the Bible would be good. So, uh, I would, uh, so I would be in favor of this. Is, of course, once again, it's a school board, but as a mayor, I have a bull pulpit. I would advocate. Uh, not only a history class on how the Bible made America, but devotionals again and prayer in the schools. Now, suppose that's illegal now, but we got a conservative Supreme Court, and why not tell home and be taking the lead on that? There you go. Carl Smithson, we'll be right back after this break. When you 
your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green and recycle. Tullahoma Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and news makers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. All right, folks, we're back, and uh, this is Insight, and today we have Carl Smithson on with us, a mayoral candidate for the mayor of Tullahoma. And Carl, you got about, we got a couple minutes left here. I want you to look at that camera right there and tell people out there, your friends, your constituents, your, your city, fellow cityans, why they should vote for Carl. Well, I'm an underdog in the race. I don't have the money that uh, some of the other candidates have. Uh, but uh, it would be a miracle if I was elected, but I believe in miracles. Uh, so, uh, you know, let the people speak on August 6th. And August 6th, I hope you'd vote for me. Uh, not only would I bring a new politics of the spirit, uh, but I'd seek justice for all. Uh, uh, I represent the strangers and the immigrants. Like I know that the Coffee County Commission wanted to argue with the governor and said they didn't want immigrants in our county. Well, if I'm mayor, I would certainly say immigrants would be welcome in Tullahoma. That's what, what Tullahoma is full of immigrants, uh, uh, or people that have roots in other countries. Uh, so uh, I'd hope that you would at least consider me uh, running for mayor. Uh, I'm planning on uh, going around to all the different houses in the next month or so. I've already got I've got some pamp uh, some flyers, so I'll be going around to the different houses and and asking you in person whether you would. Uh, vote for me for mayor and uh, also I'm a good listener so if when I go around to the houses if you have any I don't have all the answers but I believe that the people have all the answers if somebody just listen to them and then speak for them that, that's what I plan to do is to listen and speak for them and, and then finally uh, I have to say that I'm the most committed person in this race in fact I've been committed to State Hospital three times <laughs> <laughs> Carl Smithson mayoral <laughs> candidate for the mayor of Tullahoma Tennessee folks thanks for watching today remember you can't complain unless you vote. Get out there and vote. We'll see you next time on Insight.